My name is Nick. And my name is Henry. And welcome back to the CVU Show. Here's a fun fact. A shrimp's stomach is actually behind its eye. Shrimp anatomy is wild. For this week's student interviews, we asked the question, what is your favorite thing about fall? Here are some of your answers. Uh, my favorite thing about fall is definitely like Halloween and like, I don't know, I like how it's kind of cold in the beginning of school. It's just nice. My favorite thing about fall is the weather, Obamacare, and the, the leaves. Probably like being cold. I just like being in sweatshirts and leggings. So yeah. The leaves changing. And the weather. And the temperature. Oh wait, it's the new one. Sweater weather. It's sweater weather. Uh, my favorite thing about the fall is probably like the leaves and the and how like the weather. I really like the weather. I like the pumpkins, the apples, the Halloween, and like the pumpkin spice stuff. Soccer. Uh, the pumpkin pie. Uh, like Halloween and the general vibes. My favorite thing about fall is probably going up to Stowe with my family and seeing all the leaves. My favorite thing about fall is definitely like seeing the leaves on the ground and then like being able to rake them up and put them in a pile and then I just jump in like Rrr! and it's it's like all, so much fun you gotta try sometime. I like the fall leaves and fall sports. Soccer. Thanks for the answer CVU. Seniors, the class of 2023 photo will be taken Monday, October 24th at 3 p.m. Meet outside the main office lobby in the senior lot. This is just for graduating seniors. Let's hope it doesn't rain again. This week, our reporter Alessandro interviewed the new activities director. Let's take a look. Thanks guys, I'm Alessandro and I'm here with... Ricky McCollum, CBU's activities director. So what does it mean to be an activities director? What it means is, for me, I build that student athlete engagement co-curricular engagement outside the classroom with clubs, athletics, education, just so we can all come to that common goal and that's to enhance the students' uh, overall experience. Alrighty, thank you so much, Ricky. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Alessandro. All students interested in joining the CVU Nordic Ski Team this winter should visit the team website at cvunordic.com to fill out the Google form. Now let's hand over to Matthew for sports. Welcome to this week's edition in CVU Sports. Week 8 for varsity football is underway after the boys win 28-21 against Essex. The boys will now take on BFA on the 22nd at 1 p.m. to stay undefeated in the state of Vermont. Boys Varsity Soccer will take on SB away to continue their winning ways at 7 p.m. on the 22nd. Girls Varsity Volleyball coming off of a 3-0 win against Enosburg Falls. They will now take on Harwood away on Wednesday, October 19th at 6 p.m. I was lucky enough to get an interview with head coach Ron about this year's season so far. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I am Matthew here with coach Ron for CVU Football Varsity. You want to go ahead and fully introduce yourself here? <laughs> sure. I'm Ron Fleming. I'm a uh, head, head uh, varsity football coach right now. Have been for the last, well, this is my fourth season there. And prior to that, I have been uh, with the program for 15 years prior um, in the role of uh, junior varsity coach. Um, I am the coordinator at the Learning Center by day. And after school in non-football seasons, I'm down in the fitness center as well. So I get around. Very nice. Yep. Always staying active. Absolutely. So here at CVU, obviously with the football team winning record, how, are, how do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> gee, gee, Mr. Head Coach, how do you feel about having a winning season? I feel fantastic about that. Absolutely do. We're, we're, we have built to where we are right now over the course of the last two or three years. Um, we are blessed with some extraordinary athletes on the team. Um, and that is at every position. People think about the skill positions very often, the, the quarterback, the receivers, the running, you know, the running backs. Um, but we are 
uh, solid, you know, right in the offensive and defensive lines, many of whom are the same guys playing both ways. Mm -hmm. Linebacker crew is solid. Defensive backs, solid. So we, uh, we get to take the field with a great deal of confidence at every level, um, every game. So feeling pretty confident out there? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So all of us now talk about that. Think you guys have a chance of winning the st state championship? <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, I'll tell you, and, and that's a great question. That is a great question because you get to the end of the season, and honestly, right now, we're not thinking beyond this Saturday. Mm -hmm. This Saturday, we have BFA at home. It's senior day. We're looking forward to a big turnout and recognize our seniors, not just on the football team, but on the cheer team as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then, and then we will begin to prepare for whoever we have week one in the playoffs, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so there are the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the finals, which means from this moment of departure right here, right now, we have potentially four weeks of football left to play. I'm looking forward to playing four weeks of football. Um, our motto for the last couple of years has been play 11, win the last one. Well, we got as far as the comma last year, we played 11. So this year we're going past the comma. Yes. Win the last one. <laughs> yes, sir. The big game. A big game. All of them. So that will, well, thank you for coming out here, obviously. You know, thank you for taking some time. And that will do it for this week's edition of CVU Sports. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Matthew. Mark your calendar on November 11th, 12th, and 13th for this year's musical production, Amelie. Amelie is the story of an extraordinary young woman who lives quietly in the world, but loudly in her mind. She covertly improvises small but surprising acts of kindness that bring joy to those around her. Stay tuned for more information, and please support the arts at CVU. Next week, we will release a Halloween-themed episode, so stay tuned for more. And on that note, that's all the news we have for this week's show. We'll see you next time.